All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond this hour, where U.S. House of Democrats have said the removal of incumbent President Donald Trump as an emergency of the highest magnitude. Appealing to Republicans to join the push to force Trump from office, the U.S. Democrats are now all set to introduce an article of impeachment against President Donald Trump on charges of incitement of insurrection for his role in the siege of the U.S. Capitol by Trump's supporters. Now, the U.S. House of Democrats are prepared to move forward with impeachment proceedings as early next week. And after Trump supporters storm the U.S. Capitol, at least one Senate Republican will consider supporting a possible effort to impeach Donald Trump for an unprecedented second time. Now, the Democrats in the House of Representatives hold the power to impeach the president. Removing a U.S. president requires a two-thirds majority in the Senate. The top Democrat leaders say that they believe that the House can now impeach the Republican president within a span of a week. But Trump's term is due to end anyway by the 20th of January in about 11 days' time. And the Senate is still controlled by the Republicans. And therefore, the prospect of him being thrown out of office still remain very unclear. Nancy Pelosi and other lawmakers have pressurized Donald Trump to step down after the attack on U.S. Capitol by a pro-Trump mob that lawmakers in both parties said was actually incited by Donald Trump. And, and President-elect Joe Biden has said that it is up to the Congress whether to pursue a second impeachment of President Donald Trump. Now, Biden expected lawmakers to be ready to move on his agenda as soon as he is inaugurated. But I am focused now on us taking control. Uh, what the Congress decides to do is, uh, is for them to decide. But I'm going to have to, and they're going to have to be ready to hit the ground running, because when Kamala and I are sworn in, we're going to be introducing immediately significant pieces of legislation to deal with the virus, deal with the economy and uh, and deal with economic growth so i'm we're going to do our job and uh, the congress can decide how to proceed with theirs so i think it's important we get on with the business getting him out of office the quickest way that that will happen is us being sworn in on the 20th what action happens before or after that is a judgment for the congress to make but that's what i am looking forward to him leaving office. But also House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has said that she spoke with the nation's top military leaders about ensuring that Donald Trump does not launch any kind of a nuclear attack in his final days in office. Now, Donald Trump has informed via Twitter that he plans to skip Joe Biden's inauguration on the 20th of January. And if this happens, then Donald Trump will be the first president in more than 150 years and also just the fourth in U.S. history to be skipping the inauguration of his successor. Meanwhile, Joe Biden has agreed with that decision, adding that Trump not showing up is actually a good thing. That's what I am looking forward to, him leaving office. I was told that on the way up here, way over here, that he indicated he wasn't going to show up at the, uh, at the inauguration. One of the few things he and I have ever agreed on. It's a good thing I'm not showing up. All right, now to give us more perspective in terms of what all of this, of course, means for American politics, we're joined in by Rachel Silverman, who's joining us live from Los Angeles. Rachel, thank you very much indeed for joining us in this broadcast and beyond. And let me begin by asking you this. The Democrats are now pushing forth for an unprecedented second impeachment of Donald Trump. Is there enough time for the Democrats to go ahead with this process? Well, there's a real value in impeaching Donald Trump, regardless of whether he's impeached before or after uh, the inauguration, uh, because the impeachment itself will mean that Donald Trump can never again be president of the United States. And as you know, uh, President Trump has talked about running again for president in 2024. But if he is indeed impeached, he will not be permitted to do that again. All right, that, that's an important point that, that you've raised. But uh, at this point of time, uh, do the Democrats have the numbers? Will, will he be impeached? Is that something that is possible? 
Well, removing Trump by the constitutional means is certainly a tall order for the 12 days remaining in his presidency. Uh, and uh, uh, it's clear that, uh, the, that the Democrats are, are worried about what uh, the president might do in these remaining 12 days, with Nancy Pelosi consulting the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff about curbing Trump's ability to launch nuclear weapons. Uh, she says she thinks he's unhinged and that lawmakers must do everything they can to protect the country from him. There are three options. If the president does not resign, if the vice president and the cabinet do not invoke the 25th Amendment, which would remove him um, from office, then the speaker could, uh, could enact the articles of impeachment. Do they have enough time? Do they have enough numbers? It's really difficult to say because the Republicans are now, some of them are starting to back this. Some right. of them are starting to say what the president did was, was, um, was so dangerous that we will go against the party and we will uh, join an effort to push him, to force him from office. Absolutely indeed. But, you know, people who'd be looking at it, perhaps Donald Trump's hardcore supporters would be looking at all of this. They would say that this in, in many is something where the Democrats are perhaps trying to press in their advantage. The Democrats will be in power on the 20th of January. It's about just 11 days before Donald Trump demits office. And is there really a need to press on with this impeachment? Does this not give some kind of a victim sympathy to Donald Trump amongst his own supporters? I think that uh, the Democrats and many other people feel that it's very, very important to lay down the law and to make it clear that this sort of behavior, inciting riots um, and um, sicking Americans on other Americans and uh, besmirching the institution of the Congress is something that will not be tolerated. All right. Thank you very much indeed, Rachel Silverman, for joining us and getting us all those insights. This is, of course, a story that we will continue to track. The American politics is split right down the middle, and Donald Trump is expected to demit office on the 20th of this month. But will he be impeached even before that? That, of course, remains the big question. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.